couple of other things you guys have to set up before you can start taking orders is some of the back end, back end stuff. So you'd want to set up your shipping prices. And the way I do my shipping is really just give them a flat rate um, shipping because at the end of the day, shipping is really pretty much free from AliExpress.com. And unless you're using some other supplier that's charging you shipping, then you can, you have the choice whether to charge for shipping or not. So what I normally do is just to kind of um, juice a little more extra dollars out of people is I just put $2 shipping or $4 shipping. You can see here that standard shipping from 0 to 2 kilos is $3.50. Now it doesn't cost me that to actually ship it, um, but that's the, the pricing model that I have. Sometimes I go low on the actual product and high in shipping, or sometimes I make a free shipping and go higher on the product. I just do it based on whatever I think kind of um, works, is the most profitable to me. So, you've got the choice to set shipping rates based on your your weight, um, based on the total order price and things like that. Uh, like I said, I'll just make a flat shipping rate and that's pretty much uh, done, right? And uh, Shopify has different options. You can go ahead and kind of allow it to calculate the shipping requirement based on the size and stuff that you input, but I don't bother putting in the dimensions and the weight too much because that's a little bit more time consuming and remember I'm, I'm more about streamlining the process so it's it's as quick as it can be for me to start earning money that's that's my way of doing things another thing you can do is you gotta set up your payments so th there's two predominant uh, ways to set up your payment you've got your PayPal obviously many people use PayPal but there's still a, quite a big uh, amount of people that don't use PayPal that actually prefer using their credit card and I know people my age and I'm 27 I know people younger than me that still don't like using PayPal I have no idea why I've been using it for like over 10 years but whatever it is they just don't use PayPal so you still have to you you, sh you have to set up um, your credit card gateway which I use Stripe to do so to do that you'll have to I've already set it up so I, I don't know how to actually set it up again but when you guys make a Shopify store, you'll have an option to select a credit card uh, gateway and then you, you, you have to choose Stripe and you set up a Stripe account and you're ready to go. And then you'll have a Stripe login. So if you go to Stripe.com, I think it is, and you were to log in, you can see all your payments. Um, I might just do it now actually, just to show you guys how it works. This thing, all it does is it really just manages your credit card payments. And you don't want to just have PayPal, you actually do want to enable credit card because some people like I said they don't want to use PayPal and if PayPal is your only option then you're missing out on some order that would would rather um, use Stripe. So let me just log in. So here we've got my dashboard and you can see the last few days the so last week really I haven't got any sales using my credit card. Most orders have come through PayPal but for the last um, just today actually I've received an order of 22 Australian dollars, must be in US. Um, got one charge yesterday and one charge today. So, my total volume of sales using my credit card, and I've only just signed up about a week and a half ago, is about almost $100 Australian. So, again, you can kind of see your credit card payments using this gateway. And if you've been using WooCommerce, uh, before a WordPress WooCommerce, you would have had to set up a or purchase an SSL certificate, which gives your checkout page a kind of um, a secure gateway, so that when people were to check out using your website and they're on the slash checkout page and they're putting in their uh, credit card details, they can be assured that nothing's been nothing's being tracked, no one's watching them, and it's safe. And you'd have to purchase what's called an SSL certificate to do that or give them that functionality. The good thing about Shopify is it, it kind of gives you a free SSL certificate. So you don't have to go ahead and purchase that. I purchased it for $59, I think, for the year when I had a WooCommerce theme, but you don't have to do that. So, so that's the payments pretty much sorted out. So set up your payments, set up your shipping, set up your taxes if you want. Um, I can't really think of anything else you need to do. At this stage, so you got your payments, you got your shipping, and um, you put your products in, you set up your theme, etc., etc. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. You're pretty much good to go. If I remember anything, I'll put it in, but for now, that's it.